ESCM, as Jose introduced, uh, was founded 30 years ago uh, as an initiative of the, of the watchmaking industry, which is pretty much strong here in, uh, in, in the region. They wanted to have a research and development center uh, serving the watch industry with microtechnology and electronics developments. And they founded CSCM, which is a private non-for-profit company partly funded by the Swiss government to develop these technology platforms that we transfer afterwards to the industry. In the, in the last 30 years, we actually expanded our portfolio. Now we offer today also nanotechnology, for example, nano optics, and we go up to systems that are flying into the space. Photonics at CSCM has a very long history. Actually, today we are broadcasting from the observatory of Neuchâtel was part of the uh, University of Neuchâtel built in the 19th century. It was part of the department working on time and frequency since that time. Nowadays, this observatory uh, and the activities on time and frequencies are part of CSCM. And we have here colleagues developing laser sources and laser systems for different type of applications going beyond time and frequency. Uh, other old activities we have since more than 20 years, 20, 25 years are the activities in micro nano optics that started actually more than 20 years ago in Zurich in the RCA lab for development of non-optical features for security, so it means passport and banknotes that were transferred afterwards to the Porsche Institute and landed then at CSCM. So today we develop micro and nano-optical components for different types of applications, going beyond the security, going up to, for example, AR, VR, which is a hot topic today. If you continue the tour, we can go east, eastbound. And there we have colleagues in Landquart in Grison developing uh, optical systems for life science applications and beyond. If you now fly back to Neuchâtel, we go back to an activity that we started more than 10 years ago uh, in the development of vision systems and now a day of multispectral imagers. And then we go to the newest activity, photonic integrated circuits that we fabricate in our clean room facility here in Neuchâtel. It's a men's fab that nowadays is also used to, be, to fabricate and manufacture these photonic integrated circuits. And then I will let Amir, my colleague Amir, uh, broadcasting from the clean room, from inside the clean room, showing you what we will be, what we are doing in the in the domain of photonic integrated so, circuits. We, so here at CSCM, we you know try to cover a wide range of uh, activities, uh, sort of corresponding to photonic integrated circuits, starting from designing them to fabricating them here in house but also measuring and uh, packaging them. But last thing, our colleagues at observatories are experts on system integration. So they are actually, we can actually use the peaks generated at, uh, at CSCM uh, and actually make the whole system around it. But what I want to especially, you know, sort of talk today uh, is about a new platform we've been developing on uh, based on lithium nibate on insulator. And well, lithium nibate, uh, is uh, not a new material, so probably everybody is at some point have used lithium nibate. It's very interesting electro-optic material. It has one of the highest electro-optic modulator. It has very nice non-linearities and a wide transparency window. But the difference here is that we make thin films of lithium nibate and we make you know waveguides by etching, and you know so then we can actually go on for complex integration. And the actually magic here of this uh, happens here. I can actually show you some of the final structures. So these are some of the chips uh, ready to be shipped to the customers. So you might actually see this longer ones, Jose, or the actually some of the modulators with very B5 below one volt. Uh, so we designed them to actually operate at the, you know, tens of gigahertz. The ultimate uh, sort of target is to be above 100 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. So you can see other complex structures, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah, so we have a variety of components, uh, tunable resonators. Uh. So now we go go to another domain, which is laser and instruments. And I just introduce you my collection, colleague Shangun, who will bring you in this in this domain, in this field. So you know, uh, to today uh, one of the most fascinating topics in uh, optics, the photonics uh, industry, is the laser. The the most advanced optical systems are running with uh, at least one laser. And then uh, the, the quality of the laser is the key to bring uh, such optical system to our daily life. And moreover, I'm pretty much uh, proud to mention that most of our technologies are undergoing a transfer to our valuable uh, industrial partners for their products. And it's amazing to see that the applications of our technology is so broad, such as uh, uh, atomic clock, metrology, optical sensing, optical communication, and spectroscopy, 
and even uh, astronomical uh, spectrograph. Uh, CSM is covering uh, all kinds of uh, engineering areas, such as uh, uh, optics, uh, photonics, and then electronics, precision mechanics, and even data science, such as uh, artificial intelligence. So collaborating uh, with uh, other groups at CSM, actually it creates uh, significant uh, synergies uh, to uh, reinforce our uh, expertise on uh, uh, systems engineering and also to, uh, 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 to develop more advanced and higher performance scientific instruments. And let me introduce Stefan, who is Mr. Packaging at CSTM. And we'll oh talk my to God, you about Stefan. packaging integration. <laughs> Stefan and I know each other for 20 years. Stefan, packaging time, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so he hello everyone. So I'm Stefan Mordic. Uh, so the area at, at CSTM I'd like to bring to your attention is uh, uh, the field of microsystem assembly or which is uh, commonly known as packaging. So I guess every one of us is aware that any photonic component needs to be connected to the outside world to work at all. And uh, often uh, multiple functions uh, need to be taken into account. So whether the component is active or passive, these functions can include optical, electrical, fluidic, biological, thermal, and mechanical aspects. And this is where we at CSM are there to help uh, SMEs uh, and established companies to bridge the valley of death between inventing and commercializing. I'd like, I have uh, brought with me three examples of quite diverse uh, examples of, of product development with development with, which we have. So in my hand is, is a, I hope you can see it. It's very, a very tiny, it looks laser like a match. Ah, yeah, laser source, yes. It's a laser source. So it's, it's, a, it's a medical device which has been used to uh, illuminate the light in the human cochlea. The tip of this uh, sensor node uh, includes a laser and a lens, which is packaged in a biocompatible housing, uh, which, which includes, includes sapphire and platinum wires. So it's uh, less than a millimeter to fit in the human cochlea to, to stimulate the hearing nerves. So this is a, a fancy looking uh, type of device. So it's a medical instrument. It's a lap laparoscopic uh, device, uh, which has uh, as a tip here, um, uh, uh, an optomechanical probe, which uh, at the same time as it uh, puts pressure uh, to the organs, uh, measures uh, the blood flow, so we have uh, obviously a uh, connections a connection to the outside world uh, with some fancy algorithms uh, to to um, measure that correctly. So what we can actually see from all these uh, devices. So in photonics, it's a world of uh, quite diverse materials, material systems. So we have uh, indium phosphide, silicon, glass, polymers uh, as materials. We have um, uh, multiple wavelengths ranging from the UV to the far infrared. And uh, this is why I believe uh, heterogeneous integration um, is a key element to yes. drive for the next uh, years to come. Just to introduce the next colleague, Benjamin, who is coming from my group and is bringing you into the wonderful world, fabulous world of micro and nano optics. Benjamin. As you know, in micro and nano optics, we are increasingly demanding in terms of specifications, performances, and also miniaturization. And all sorts of shapes now are requiring out of the, uh, required out of the design. But by chance also, we have a tremendous uh, achievements and progress in manufacturing. Together with our decades of experience at CSN and micro and nano optics, uh, we think we are ready to take the challenge. What we do, we can address everything in the value chain from design to prototyping to pre-pilot production. And we can also do uh, UV imprint on chip in particular to serve prototyping needs. We can do on wafer or even to a uh, wall to play. So this is a shim here with many, many different facets. It's actually a large shim, uh, a three sheet. And uh, it, it displays really a nice optical effect. So I'm lighting up with my smartphone here 
and you can see what kind of effects can be. So this is the tooling phase of our uh, micro optical manufacturing. So you know this product probably, it's an augmented reality yes. device. It's uh, the Microsoft HoloLens. And there, there is this piece where you have to bring light from the projector to the eyes of the user, and it's a diffractive waveguide. Here, we need to expand the eye pupil, and we, that's why we are using a waveguide so that it's uh, whatever the position of the eye is, uh, we, get, uh, we get an image. So this is a really interesting uh, piece of engineering. Coming back, uh, Jose, thanks, Benjamin. And then I'm introducing you the next colleague for the housekeeping. We still have two domains to cover. So we start with sensing with my colleague, Christoph. Please, Christoph, the floor is yours. CSM has a long track record in developing optical systems, customized optical systems, meaning the development of optics, mechanics, electronics from PCP to high-end ASIC design, but also the corresponding software from firmware to a low level or high level software. This stuff can be realized either as OEM or standalone system, and this is thanks to the expertise that CSCM has in system engineering. Applications are environmental monitoring, biochemical systems or sensor, counterfeiting measurement systems, or process monitoring system. Finally, I like to say the goal is not to replace um, consumer, let's say, scientific instruments, but rather to develop customized specific solution specifically for their needs, that we can really tackle their needs, what they want to, and produce this product or do a first prototype. Last but not least, uh, vision systems vision and CSM systems. story long 10 years, more than 10 years. And I give the floor to my colleague, Andrea. Andrea, floor is yours. Vision systems have been happening for about 20 years at CSEM. And uh, we know that vision systems are used almost in all industries today. And today they're particularly important because we mix vision systems with uh, data-driven techniques and embedded machine learning in our group and have done this for over 22 years. So it's not for us such a new thing. And our byline for the group is really to try to take the photon in and deliver information out on the systems that we make. And so I really thought the best way to explain how we do that is to actually just give you directly um, some examples of the vision systems that we make. We started making um, systems based on multispectral imaging. So trying again to simplify the hyperspectral imaging system down to multispectral imaging. And I show here a, another example, it's really based on plan, plan optics too. It's a very simple system that we, we actually use the micro lenses, which we know is one of the key elements that offers uh, Neuchatel and the, the group also in Mutens here at CSEM. We use their micro lenses. And from that, we make a series of imagelets to give us a snapshot image of uh, any device. I just wanna talk about two final systems. This one, this system's called the PUC. It stands for Plug, Use and Collection Kit. It's really designed to help smaller companies start using data-driven techniques in vision. And we have a standard CMOS imager, two uh, infrared um, imagers, and then we also have an array of microphones, a temperature sensor. And uh, it's actually got a series of magnets. And what you can do is you can just stick it and then it will straight away do your data collection. And the good thing about this is that it's, it's super simple to use and it can be used directly with machine learning techniques or, or algorithms we've already embedded into the system, or it can be used to collect your data. Because one of the things that we've realized in working with companies is that you need a robust system. You often need more than one um, data source. And that's why we've made this collection kit, which actually collects many different data sources. Fascinating. Uh, what kind of answer to the epic question would you have? And don't say that that was unexpected. What, what, uh, what kind of room for cooperation do you see as the, as the most important, the most urgent for you to start talking to companies about? I think we need to have uh, very much convincing use cases. So the, the technology is there. You can do marvelous things, you can do components, you can do devices. It's good to have, uh, as Andrea was, for example, mentioning, to be in contact with the end user. It's, it's also for the pilot lines, it's, it's really the, tr the trigger point. You need to develop the right device for the right application. You can spend 10 years de developing a nice device, but if afterwards it's far away from the application, you lose your money and your time. 
you are making a difference in this industry. I am very happy to have you leading the fabulous pilot line, which is the most important pilot production enabled by the European Commission. Having you in the lead is a prize for Europe. And also I would like to say that as soon as I can, I'm coming to CSEM and I'm visiting all this in person because I want to ask everyone in the industry, travel, travel, travel. We need to get back together. And very with much. this, I would like to say, that this is it. Thank you so, so very, very much.